Hey YouTube, this is Mike. I'm working on an International 444 diesel tractor, doing some hydraulic testing, and I am quite pleased with my findings. So, I picked up this Woods 1009 loader this last weekend for a little bit of nothing with five five and a half foot bucket, and it came with this bracket. Of course, I've got it mounted on this tractor already. Again, I'm gonna show you the hydraulics. I've got a hydro sleuth gauge hooked into the pump here. And anyhow, on the loader, I've got four bolts on the front on each side. This is the bracket that came with it. I had to make all that mess right there. And I came off the bottom of it with a, a three-inch channel. It's got, uh, it's a two-by-three with three-inch wall. And I've got a piece of quarter-by-two angle here. And I go back in the back, and then I hook into side walls of the tow receiver. Thankfully, all my leaders uh, skipped past that thing, so I didn't have to modi modify anything else. So on the back, I've got right here, I've got my channel with a half-inch plate, and then I've got three-quarter inch bolts with prevailing torque nuts to secure everything in place. This thing worked like a jewel. So, so with all that said, I was thinking I may have to do something different with a pump, but I'm, I'm not going to. I think I'm, I'm going to be able to use what's here. My intent is to pump at least around five, six gallons into that loader. And I've got what I needed. So here's the pump. In case you want to look up the data on that thing. So what I've done is the original line that comes off had a, uh, a flare fitting on it. Uh, it busted, so I ended up welding a JIC fitting to it. it. had a special hose made. Cheaper than a $180 assembly. I think I got 25 in that. So back on track, got your pressure line going in, got your pressure gauge here, got a ball valve here to restrict the flow to check the, the, the pump uh, back pressure as well as uh, check the, the flow. My pump condition's good. At idle, I'm getting three and a half gallon, and at 2,000 PSI, it doesn't change the gallons per minute at all. It's staying stable, which tells me I've got a good pump. Thank God, because they're about 600 bucks. If I turn it up just below, if I turn the idle up, just above idle, which would be probably what you do on light duty work, I'm getting about five and a half gallons of flow. And I'm still maintaining my 2000 PSI back pressure. So uh, as you turn up the idle, uh, which uh, I tested it at excessive idle, higher than what I'd normally operate at, and I'm getting around nine and a half to 10 gallons a minute flow. So if you look on the internet sources, the, supposedly it's got a, a 13 gallon pump, of course, all of that's relative to ro rotations, how many RPMs you're putting into it. So I am happy with this. I'm going to go in and modify these fittings and uh, put me some quick releases on them. And then uh, uh, the, the loader I've got, has got a power beyond valve. So I hook the main pressure in onto the control valve here. Power beyond return would go back into this line here. And then the loader uh, line uh, return would go back into this line here, which would be the suction for the hydraulic pump. So, anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. Apologize for its length. Uh, I guess last but not least, you have this control valve right here that sources say you can tap into it. I don't know if that's true or not. I would like to do that, but that line is like crazy as far as how it's tapped in there. Um, so, I think I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna come down here to the pump where I've already messed with the lines to begin with and tap into it. Good luck, again, hope you enjoyed the video.